Yo guys, what's up? This is Daily Muffin Zero Zero, and I'm here to do a quick tutorial on how I edit my Let's Plays, and also on how I kind of create them, you know. So, and this is mainly a tutorial, basically for Zeppelin Four Five Zero Three. He is just getting into his uh, Kingdom Hearts Let's Play, and I'm mainly doing this tutorial for him, just to show him what kind of settings I use to do on my Let's Plays. So this is mainly a tutorial for him, like I just said. I don't know why I just said that again, but. Uh, it's for anybody really um, if you can benefit from this by all means uh, copy what I do and stuff like that if you're just getting into let's plays um, if you have any questions ask me I'll try to help to the best of my ability but I'm gonna kinda make this into a total uh, like I guess a series of three videos maybe uh, or three sections kind of of each uh, program that I use I use uh, Pinnacle Studio 12 to record uh, Vegas Studio 9 to actually edit the videos and I use Audacity to record my voice and put it into the game or use it when I'm ever playing my game and stuff like that. Uh, Camp Studio or Camtasia, god dang it, I can't talk. Um, can yeah, Camtasia, like I just said. Um, I'm basically using that right now to record my screen and to talk to you guys as I do this tutorial. So without further ado, why don't we just you know get into this right? Because I'm just rambling on right now as it is. So we'll click Pinnacle Studio 12, and we're gonna wait a little bit because my computer is godly slow. So hold on, just a second. Alright, once you get back in here, oh god, I hate Vista. But yeah, anyways, once you get back in here, uh, press the capture uh, tab right over here. That will bring you from the edit over to capture. And as you can see, or here, I got some Kingdom Hearts in the background right over in this area. This is the preview box. Uh, pretty basic. This shows you what's on screen or what is about to record. So we're going to ignore this or try to ignore it for now. Uh, we'll just get into the settings. Now, what uh, Pinnacle Studio actually sets you up in, it kind of sets you up in AVI format right when you get it. You don't ever want to use AVI. Don't ever use AVI. Oh my god, it's just horrible. So, what you want to do is you want to do capture, uh, or not ca capture, what the hell am I talking about? Okay, you want to use custom settings right over here. So, click that. Uh, this thing's going to refresh. Alright, it's done. Uh, next, go to settings. Go to settings. Settings. Alright, here we go. So, the main two tabs you want to focus on are Capture Source and Capture Format. Uh, these two over here, you really don't have to screw with, so we're not even going to mess with those. Capture Source. Alright. So, make sure your device is set. Right now, I have the Dazzle DVC uh, 100 on. Uh, I had DV Camcorder 2, but we're not going to use that. We're just going to use DVC 100. That's your Capture Cam. Alright. Now, for the TV standards, if you have a PAL TV or a TV that supports PAL, by all means, use this setting. Uh, if you don't, however, you have a standard TV like the one I'm using currently right now, you're going to want to go to the NTC, NTSC and click that. And I'm not going to get into the history of that crap. Uh, PAL is just a newer format. Uh, Syncom is, or Syn, whatever this is, uh, it's basically the, ver the French version of PAL, and this is just the... Uh, I said I wasn't going to get into that, let's just ignore that, ignore what I just said there. Okay, change your expert ratio to um, 16, nine, 16 by 9, excuse me. Um, that's widescreen, and it's basically standard for YouTube if you're going to upload this stuff, right? So, yeah, have all your settings, make sure your screen kind of looks like this, pause if you need to. Um, and once you got all this down, we're going to go on to capture format. Okay, now in capture format, uh, it starts you off in AVI, like... Uh, I don't know why they decided it, or thought AVI was better or whatever. So, but what you want to do is you want to go to uh, MPEG uh, 1 and 2 uh, and change your settings to custom. Don't mess with these, just change it to custom. Okay, now for these two, make sure MPEG is or MPEG type, excuse me, man, I'm God, I can't talk today. Uh, make sure MPEG 2 is currently at God, I fell so much. Okay. 
uh, MPEG type. Change it to MPEG 2. You don't want it on MPEG 1 because I think that's just audio. Now MPEG 2 is both audio and video I believe. So we are going to click that. Um, compression layer 2. Just keep just keep this or you know change your screen accordingly kind of. Uh, now for this by default I think I believe it starts at 8 8,000 I believe. I think that's the default. So kind of just I keep mine at 10,000 just because um, it, it has more memory or it takes more memory but I really don't care about that as long as I can get good quality stuff but without it lagging and stuff like that this is I'll, I'll by far do it but I've always put mine at higher quality or higher memory whatever you know what I mean so once that's all set uh, change your screen or your settings accordingly uh, press pause if you need to uh, we'll click on these tabs. Um, nothing I can really say over here. Just go to NTSC widescreen. Make sure it's on that at least. Um, pause if you need to. Change what you need to. Um, now we'll go over to video and audio preferences. If I'm going fast, it's kind of because you really don't need to look at all this stuff because um, I think it's all default anyway. But if it isn't, uh, change it accordingly because that's what we're using today. So once you have all your settings uh, pretty much set up, click on OK, and your previous screen should refresh like it should, like it just did. OK. Now after that, you're pretty much ready to start capturing. So we're gonna start capture. Change the name of your video to whatever you want it to be. Uh, doesn't matter. So you know, we're just gonna change this to example uh, four. Now, I already have this um, recorded, but I'm just showing you what you can do. So, we already have um, change your name accordingly to whatever you're going to record it as. And then change it to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts uh, Video 1 or Let's Play Yada Yada or Kingdom Hearts Video. It doesn't matter, right? So, and this is basically all you need to do is just press cap capture. Um, but before you ca press capture, we're going to. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys what I do. Okay. Now, I click on Audacity. And once that loads up, like right here, I have Audacity hanging up right over there, or right above, right above head. Um, and what I'll tend to do is I'll press record just so it, it's ready to, um, ready for my voice whenever I am ready like right now you can see it's uh, kind of jumping and all that stuff that's recording my voice currently so and while I was doing that I'll press start capture and then I'll press start capture right there again and once that starts I mean I pretty much say hey guys what's up this is Daily Muffin 00 and yada 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 and while I'm doing that it's recording my voice as I play the game so this is what I normally do when I'm recording both audio and the video uh, for my let's plays you can do this too um, I know a lot of people on YouTube do it so um but basically I'm showing you what I do so I'm gonna stop capture because we really don't need that uh, I'm keeping audacity on because I want to show you guys something now when I use audacity um let's stop it right here actually okay when I use audacity I set my uh, input my microphone input to a low setting or god fail so much man this is like okay I had this is the output volume I always put it over uh, I don't know kind of one-third of the way from positive because there's a lot of static in my uh, microphone whenever I talk so changing it to a lower setting kind of gets rid of the static in a sense but we also go to another editing program so we can get rid of the static too so um, that's basically all I do for this um, you got your basic record and you got your basic uh, what's it called stop buttons all that crap so what you want to do is you want to go to file and you want to go to export when you're exporting the audio that you have don't try to erase your audio like I always tend to do like I'll press X right before I didn't even save it but change to like kingdom uh, hearts uh, I think I misspelled that I don't know kingdom hearts 2 file or change the kingdom hearts audio or something like that right 
Why is there an F there? God dang it. Alright. And press save. And it saves as a WAV file. Or WAMI file, I think. What does it save as? Uh, Windows audio video thing? I don't know. But, um, just make sure you save it as, or export it as WAV. I believe that's a WAV file. Um, I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, uh, let me know in the comments below. But, after you're done with that, you can click out of that, and you can pretty much click out of Pinnacle Studio 12. Click out of it. Alright, there we go. So, basically, after you have that done, you have your Kingdom Hearts audio right here, and you'll have your example right here, example 4, which is the pretty much the pre-video I had before I started this with the settings and all that crap, so I can basically erase this crap. I don't need it. But I'll show you the quality of the video right in just a second, actually. Uh, hold on. Okay, we are back, and as you can see, this is the type of quality that you'll start getting uh, with your Dazzle. Now, keep in mind this is a PS2 game, so graphics and, uh, you know, just the graphics aren't that great, of course. But also, the Dazzle kind of takes away uh, from the, or doesn't record everything that your TV might uh, set up. It's kind of hard to explain, but what you'll notice is the black bars around the TV or around the video those can't be taken off in the Dazzle setups. So, of course, we're going to have to use an editing program for that. And that editing program that we're going to be using is Sony Vegas 08. Uh, so, I'll get into that in a later video. Right now, this is all we're going to do today. So, uh, just, you know, keep watch. I don't know when this video will be up, of course. but uh, Or the next video will be up, of course. But... Uh, just stay tuned and I'll try to figure it out eventually or whatever. But uh, if you have any questions, post them down below. Uh, this is Daily Muffin signing off, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.